What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and I just got off a dive team call out. Uh, we had an incident in the water, it was actually a drowning call where, um, long story short, a gentleman had went into the water um, with a piece of apparatus, it was a piece of mowing equipment, and somehow he had got pinned under it. Um, you know, we're not sure of his condition. He actually got it, the, the spectators that saw it happen um, actually got him out of the water before our team got on scene. Um, as far as the drowning goes, however, uh, we were recalled out to get the um, the lawnmower equipment or the lawnmower itself out of the water. So that's what you're going to see in this video. I'm going to show you recovery here. Um, you're not going to see too much of the uh, sonar part. And basically, anytime that we're doing a search like that, whether it's a body, whether it's a car, maybe an airplane or something like that, we always do uh, several trips running a sonar, meaning with several loops or laps around in the boat with a sonar just to really get our search area marked. And usually we'll mark it once we ping on something. We'll go back over it a couple times, we'll mark it again until we feel confident that we've got the object and we kind of um, took our search area and really shrunk it down. And then of course we get in, we confirm, uh, we'll shoot a marker up just to, for investigative purposes and, we'll, and that way the people at the top can see exactly what the scene looks like from the top. Um, then we'll do an investigative sweep, obviously. Uh, in this situation, it was very easy. Found the object, put a buoy on it just so it's marked. That way, if however we decide to lift it, if it sunk back down, it's still marked. Um, and then, of course, there was a record company there uh, helping us out. We was able to take a cable and a strap down to hook up to it, and they were able to pull it out. So that's what you're going to see in this video. Um, to answer any questions, I'm going to wait until at the end of the video, and then I'll try to answer some questions that I know that's going to come up. Uh, but hopefully you'll learn something from it. So let's jump right in, and I'll give you some final thoughts here at the end. I got
Is that long enough? Okay. I got it, we got it. Thank you. Slack out. I tried to get the slack out.
shot up underneath this root right here too. Yeah, that's Yeah. Now we're about done. Yeah, he just can't get up. Can we get him to the dock? We'll get the other one. I want him to get up before I get out, just in case. Alright guys, so as you can see, it was a very successful search. I don't necessarily want to call this a textbook search uh, because usually when we search, there's a lot of variables that go into them um, and it's not always the way you're trained. Um, but I do want to kind of address some issues here. I know someone's probably going to ask, well, why were you the only diver? Why didn't you take a backup diver in with you? Uh, why did you do this? Um, the totality of the circumstances really deem what we do. Uh, this was a basically a 10 foot depth um, it, there was really no obstructions that we saw on sonar. I was able to confirm that, of course, once I got in the water. There was hardly any current whatsoever. The visibility was relatively clear for me. Um, and based off my training and experience, I'd made that decision not to take another diver with me. Uh, I did have two personnel on the boat. One was a backup diver. One was obviously the boat operator, or our captain. And so I just, at that point, I decided this is something that one diver can do. It's a relatively shallow depth. And of course, based off my training and experience, it was something I did feel confident and comfortable doing alone. So it did turn out good. Um, at any point in time, if I felt something was not right, I would have boarded the dive immediately and then we would reconvene, uh, rethought the process through and got another diver in. But that's basically why I was the only diver that was diving that you know i didn't need two divers on that particular dive um, but you know if you got any questions about public safety diving or you know scenarios uh put it down in the comment section below i'd like to hear about your experiences um if there's something you think i could have done better definitely put that down there in the comment section below as well because i love to learn from you guys uh, i've been doing this a very very long time i've been in the dive industry my entire life uh, i've been public safety diving since basically 2000 so going on 19 years now um, so it's something that I know a lot about, but I'm not above learning from others as well. So please put it down in the comment section below if you think I could have done something better. Uh, I would definitely love to learn from you guys. But I definitely appreciate you coming along on this dive. I want to be able to show you guys more public safety related videos. Unfortunately, some of these call outs I just can't put and publish out here on YouTube, um, if, especially if it's a body recovery. I can show you the search part, but of course I've got to cut it off before we find the body. I'm not going to do that to the family. And out of respect for that victim's family, I, I'm never going to be able to put a, a body on the camera. Uh, 
Um, that being said, depending on the investigative purpose of the dive, uh, if it's an investigation, I'm not going to be able to publish it as well until it's heard, you know, heard of in court. So there's a lot of things, unfortunately, I just can't show you, but I will do my best to put what I can on YouTube for you. Uh, and hopefully you can learn from it as well. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. And like I said, if you got any comments, concerns, questions, put it down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to have a conversation with you about it. Um, but guys, as you know, always make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.